Hello guys and welcome. It has been a while. In fact, it's been a long while. We've missed four or five rounds and we're going to try and put them all into this one video and uh, flip it all together as a season highlight for FRR. Uh, you catch us right now on the back of Crazy. We've had some fantastic races this season. Not just with Crazy out in front, but with a lot of the other guys too. And hopefully we can showcase a little bit of that. Uh, also, just uh, as a reminder, not to be offended by the clips at the start with uh, the uh, bangs and the knocks and whatnot. It's paddle racing, it happens. I'm just trying to uh, advocate the highs and lows of the round, so hopefully none of you have taken too much offence to it. I even showed myself it up a few times there too, but uh, I feel like as I owe you some sort of explanation. It's been a good month. Uh, we've not been well in a jail household, and that's not half the story with it, with having the time to do it, but uh, I'm glad we were able to give you at least some highlights of what's been going on, because at the end of the day, FRR have put on such a great season for us, and it would be a disservice for me to delete all these clips and not give them to you as a highlight. So you join us at Laguna. Uh, we had run Xander for before, and Masano. There's a few little clips there. Not so much of Masano, because we kind of got away on the lap one and got involved in the drama, but you catch us here just on the first lap of race two, so it's reverse grid race for the fast guys that qualified, uh, that, that got P1, P2, P3, they don't qualify and start the back for race two, so we're just trying to thread the needle. Optimum strategy would be to pitch straight away and get out the traffic, you're not breaking <coughs> as late and losing enough time, but as it was, uh, it was a really good race, uh, that, as a lot of them have been. Uh, massive shout out to my uh, teammate as well for the season. I've lost count how many times you actually managed to come out of my way and let me get on with it. Uh, a lot of the times for position as well, you know, you could have kept that one too. So I just want to thank him because he had a bit of a rough season, to say the bloody least, and he stuck with it. We managed to get the team championship and I couldn't be prouder to have ran my last season on console with Rashid and with the FRL. I'm going to link as many of these drivers. Who will accident it. Yeah, Del was suffering with the balance of the car all night. You look at that clip and you think that he's proper taking me out on purpose, but he was round at every other corner, you know, he's really struggling with the balance of this. But now we're up against the McLaren now, we're side to side. And basically, I just want to give everyone the fair shake here. There was a lot of guys that managed to race really well, uh, a lot of guys that don't want to give an inch of room either, but that's racing at the end of the day, and you, you kind of come up onto the back of these people and know uh, who's going to give you an hard time, and... Uh, Who's going to know they're slowing themselves down, holding you up and blocking you in that sense? But it is what it is. It's all for position. Every one of these are a fantastic driver in their own rights. They're either in the wrong car or they just haven't got the setup and the balance of the car right because it's been proven on multiple occasions when these boys have the setup right and the car dialed in, there's no catching them. You know, it's, it takes a mistake. So hats off to every single one of you this season. Just managed to pull uh, Traction Dave off the line there. Coming up onto, yeah, this is Bristu, the leader pissed off the this in making a mistake. Now coming up into what's sort of the corks room, we take P1 off the race there. So, you know, without that, it's been pretty hard to catch. But uh, end of race two and Dell again, just, <laughs> it's not what you want when you're in first position, is as first in the wrong way. And that happened a lot in that race, I had to cut a lot out, I got to my limit. Onto Snetton now, and I felt alright here, it's not my favourite track, but I felt good. A uh, bit of Adji Badger going on up ahead with uh, Crazy. And I, what a Ferrari. Kind of properly named, yeah. Nature of them two just uh, help themselves to it, but do give me room on the exit, so thank you for that, boys. Coming up onto the back of Terek Tanerda now, and we've had a couple of battles this season. Uh, it's been very defensive, uh, but yeah, we were on the back of him at, at Snetterton, and this is uh, race two, so we're trying to come through the field. And honest to god, I spent a full lap, lap and a half, maybe two laps, trying to get past Tarek, and it, impossible. It was real hard work. I mean, I was going to take myself out if. I wouldn't have pushed any more, or the worst, tucking his berth out, so, you know, we're just trying to keep it as clean as possible, but hats off to this guy for what he did at Snet, and they were watching the, the replay back, I didn't quite get it, it was uh, as an intense a fight as it was, but, uh, yeah, defensive lines, and driving, and he, uh, he did his job at the end of the day, I, I come in on the end of lap, lap three, I believe it's on the end of this lap, not being able to pass the bugger, so he forced me into the pit super early, came out, I mean, tyre pressure's all over the place, I wanted to try and win a couple of maps, but, Hats off to him, I could not get by, and if I was going to get by, it was going to be a bit of a send. You'll see, I'm having to adjust uh, when we catch up on the back of him, but yeah, it's been like that all season. He also had a teammate that ran earlier on in the season, I just want to give him big props. I know he's a pilot, uh, he's very busy with his life and other stuff, uh, and he was also a fantastic driver, and, and you know, given he ran the full season, he'd have been winning, if not right up there, you know, there was guys capable of that. Like, I believe half of that field there... Uh, 
it's doing a bit of a disservice to the other 10 drivers on the field, but there's 10 drivers there given the right car and uh, set up that would be just as quick as the front guys. But yeah, what a pleasure it was to get to know all of you, for better or for worse, like I said before. Uh, it's still really fun being out on track on you, and like uh, he said on the comments last night, it's probably very uh, highly unlikely we're all going to run together in the same bit of tarmac, so just enjoy it for what it was, and uh, thank you, basically. So yeah, we're still on the back of Tarek now, and this is a full lap. We're still, yeah, still up on the Delta, but I mean, it's early days, isn't it? Still pushing. I've got a good drive out of here, and... Yeah, I think that was the point there where I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to pit and come out, we're, we're going to lose too much time. But take nothing away, it's for position, he does not have to roll over and, and give me that, so thank you uh, Tarek for the race buddy. Difficult to pass. Uh, coming up onto the back of the leaders now, onto race 2. This is for the podium spots, and we're pushing the Audi now, and he's come off his line, he's not on the optimal line, he's gotten to the dirty stuff, and he's tagged Lel. I think Lel did a 360 there as well, so he lost the back end of us, but the, the, the Audi was going, he wasn't stopping. Uh, coming into the long loop and right now, he had a couple of problems there. He used to break coming into it, so knew I could get the drive. Just trying to pressure him, getting in the radar, and he runs it way too deep there, and we've managed to come around. That's P2. Now, story of the race, last lap. I believe he thinks it's the last lap with the weaving across. Like, he, he was so close to slowing down five seconds. So now he knows he's got another lap, and it's all to play for, you know. So hopefully we're getting a little fast forward here a little bit. Uh, it's probably a bit of a kick in the teeth for the lad watching this one, but, you know. Let's race in, and it happens, but yeah, last lap, half a lap in now, Cas pulled over to the side here, which is a little bit of a distraction, but he's letting the, those guys through, and he's clipped the grass trying to come in from it, onto the curbing, bit of a passenger at this point, does well not to actually come drag on the line and uh, take me out with it, but I managed to get the position, get the good drive out of here, and all the way up the straight, I was <laughs> weaving from out the draft, so that was P1, I believe, for that one, on to Spa now, and... Wow, just bumper to bumper stuff, it really was. I didn't feel like we had any straight line speed, which uh, at Spa is a bit of a nightmare, but it is what it is. Uh, on the back of Michael Reyes here, who's uh, driven fantastically, he was with him last night in Imola, and he was six tenths up on all of us on the field. It was uh, going to prove impossible to catch him, but the, uh, he goes tense and goes really hard on the rear tyres. Now, a little tip. For anyone that's in the AMG Evo, run TC9. It's a bug on console. If you run TC9, it's as quick as TC1 and 2, and you'll save the tyres. So hopefully if it's watching this, stick it on TC9, do some laps, and then uh, send me a message thanking me later. But yeah, he's just uh, defending that line now with sort of lap 1, so try not to get any damage and try and nibble where, he's, where he might be slower. But at the minute, just complete the lap, come around onto the second one now, and I get a, always tend to get a good drive out of here, just had to lift a little bit, but yeah, me and this lad was sideways for a lot of this race, which isn't the optimal way to go about it, but super fun, and you've got to put a lot of trust in each other at that point. Cuts across. You've got to put faith in one another that you're going to give each other the room to race, and that is what allows a race to develop and happen, is giving each other the room. I try to go deep now. A little bit of contact in there. I'm very wary is on the side. I do not want to, to force him out. Oh, give him his least drag. And the AMG just gets a hell of a drag coming up here. And I believe he still keeps the corner. So we were side by side um, pretty much halfway up that back straight there. So yeah. Just across the start finish now in SEC. And we're just going to try our best now to uh, get the draft at the end of uh, Rouge. Fantastic corner. It's difficult if you've not got the car set up right. Uh, and again, we're on PC now. This is our last race on console was yesterday, so all our time will be dedicated to the PC life and the PC ACC side of things. I have no webcam, so at the minute, I'm sort of stuck streaming uh, without a webcam, and that's why a lot of races hasn't happened quite yet. So we've re a real good draft here. We're just showing him inside. I'm just trying to get into his radar, put his eyes off anything but what's in front of him with the apex. We nearly lose it there as well. Flex it. Let's get a good drive out of here. Now I was looking for this all night long, this move. This is another lap and I'm just trying to show him the inside here and he manages to defend that one just about. But yeah, I could see he's struggling sort of on the entrance to that corner, so a bit of a mental block. A little bit of touch there too. That wasn't on purpose by any means. Uh, just caught out a little bit. Uh, coming up onto lamp through. So this has been it so like since the start of the race. Managed to break away in lap one, but uh, caught him back up again. And all this time, we've got Lil Nine behind us too, who's catching on to the back of us. So I'm just trying to give him a look, trying to put him off. But he's a fantastic driver. Uh, he's got tons of pace, and he is capable of winning races, 100%. We 
just puts that thing in TC9, he'd have won. He just goes hard on the tyres and that Evo seems to go off real fast. Like after five or six laps the tyres are not the same again. We get on to the back of him now and it's definitely at this point a free horse race. And again, we're just trying to put him off. We're just trying to be in his mirrors because we do not have the straight line purse to, to overtake it. But I'm glad I've got to show the aspects of, of the season. I wasn't going to upload any of them. I wasn't going to bother with it because me and the team was having a bit of a mare with certain aspects on track. And, you know, it's just racing. It happens. But come the end of the season, this was sorted yesterday. I did want to uh, say thank you to the FRR staff and the drivers on track they all made it what it was it was super fun every week we were pushed to go as fast as possible there was no letting off there was no chilling out every second of it was flat out and i was pushed every step of the way whether it was from bloody trying to come through the pack or whether it was towards the front it was difficult there wasn't an easy car there it was uh, super fun with that so yeah we're on pc and i'm again i'm looking for this move here on the right just trying to put him off And he's outbroke himself. Just struggling with the tyres going off now at lap four. So yeah, definitely TC now, really. But yeah, we took P1 of the race there. I believe we held on to it. I'm not gonna sit here and rub the uh, results in people's faces and whatnot. I just want to show the highlights of it. Now, I do stick to the end to the people that uh, did race very well. There's a summit on the end for us. But yeah, on the back of Chica here now, and it's another bloody Evo at Spa, and what a big ass piece of. Uh, body that is on the back end of it but yeah he drove fantastic again and this is at the end of race two now we've managed to drag our way from the back of the field onto the back end of these guys now i've just had my teammate rashid put it into the wall oh no not yet. he hasn't yet he let me through to try and catch up and at the minute we're running a podium spot both me and rashid but we've not managed to do all season with we've, we've always just slightly come off worse one or the other so we've never had a good one two and i felt like this was it this one you know this this could have been our night but if you stick with it and you'll uh, you will see how this one develops but i've never been so gutted for somebody else crashing and i left it in two and that was the move for the race and uh, racing incident i thought i had the line i may be understeered on review but this is it and rashid hits the curb here chasing down chica and he smashes the wall and that was it that was a race over there was so much damage there i'm sorry to include it rashid but obviously i want to tell the story of the race and i've never been so gutted for somebody that's uh, that's crashed out there on to bathurst now and this crap was like threading a needle i don't know what was going on with everybody but this is Tarek coming out the way and it was looking not to, to come back on but i mean everyone did the best and it's race two now at the start and we all know how crazy it is coming across the mountain uh I've race two trying to thread my way through and you've got cars ping-ponging off walls and we're just trying to front it. Now this guy, he, he, I am slow, he's on a controller. I've, he's from New Zealand or Australia or whatnot. Stays up extra late just to, to practice or come on with us and race. And what a fantastic guy this, this guy is. He's actually got a brain cell when it comes to entry and exit. He's, uh, he knows what he's doing, definitely. And he positioned the car so beautifully across the mountain. It's so difficult to follow, especially across this bit. In dirty air, you just don't have the downforce, but you take nothing away from from the Audi in front. That is commitment at its best, and uh, what a fantastic race he ran! And this is it, last lap of that race now, and I'm just desperately trying to catch up with the bloke. You know, I know I've got this Conrad straight. There's a lot of rubber banding going on here. You can see by the end end of the time we come to the Conrad straight here that it was going to be dangerous to to maybe try to stick one up the inside, but that, ultimately I don't think I was close enough anyway. So. I did my best, I gave it everything, and it just wasn't enough come the end of the race, you know. Uh, hats off to I'm Slow, more than deserved this race. I'm doing everything I can to try and put the guy off, but uh, real cool head on him, uh, a real nice guy as well in the Discord, so uh, yeah, f congratulations to you, dude. You well deserved that win. Where are we at now? Rashid? This is him coming out of my way, and I can't tell you how many times the bloke did it this season. And I just want to include him in there as a thank you. Again, Spa, coming out of the way. This is for position as well, you know. This this guy is the epitome of a teammate, you know. And again, from, from the gun, I can't thank you enough, Rashid. Thank you, my friend. I, I really do appreciate you running with me this season. On to Laguna, this was last night, and there's just nowhere to avoid that, unfortunately. Ended up with damage the first race, and the second race now, and me and Lel going at it into uh, into the chicane sections, and just giving each other the room to race. But yeah, real quick he was, and a massive shout out to Gamerdad too for last night in the uh, uh, GTR here. Fucking unreal how quick he was. 
And I'm so glad they sorted the paint colour out from brown and pink. But check this out, coming into the pit. That's why it always pays to maybe practice the pit in. I was doing it all practice, just seeing if I could gain any time. But yeah, that was a bit of a dodgy moment. Me and Mr. Error here, and it doesn't end up well. There's uh, no room being given here whatsoever. I tried to cut back in. He's well off the track at this point, but... It, it's 50-50 and that happened to me all fucking seasons, you know, and it was just hard racing in my, in my view. Me and Hutch now, fantastic guy, has a YouTube channel, go check him out. Uh, always been really nice with us in, in the Discord. I've, I had him actually uh, subscribed, I've subscribed to him way before I was in FRL, I used to check up on his on his racing, so it was nice to get up the wheel to wheel. This is race two and get a door banging here. Uh, this is towards the end of the race, you know, we, we ended up with like 45 seconds of damage or something, something like that anyway, coming into the pit, so we had to had to fix it. Still side by side here, no quarters being given, I've had to come out trying to get the cut back on him, but he knows what's happening. Good drive out there, He's still on the side now. Get a little tap on the entry, which has uh, put us off a little bit, but yeah, side by side through, through the majority of that, and I just want to thank Hutch as well for... Uh, for the racing. We came down to the last section here, I believe, where the video ends, and uh, we did a 360 with us making contact. At the time, I was almost sure that I'd like, cut over a little bit. If you see on the run down here that I had maybe moved across and he got the worst of it. In the end, I do believe I lifted off, give the position back at the end, but you know, it doesn't make up for the fact that there were contact there. It was a fantastic race between us all. This is uh, Careers again, this is on, what's this? This is race one. This is this is it for the, the last lap now. Both me and him, once again, they're going to battle it out for uh, P1 of the race. Now we're in a good position here too, P2, we've tapped that all day long after all the, uh, the contact we'd had and a little bit of damage, but yeah, this guy's fantastic. He knows where to break, he knows where to position the car. As close as you like it, you're not going to get much closer than that when it comes on to ACC. And it takes two to tango, uh, massive thank you to him. Unreal in Xandervoort as well, uh, congratulations to him. I don't have much footage of the Xandervoort one unfortunately, but I do believe we get a shout out. Yeah, we lost a bit of ground here now, so we're just trying to push it into the, uh, to the apex of the corner. <coughs> Still on the back of him. This is after half an hour. Over pit stop, with traffic, with all sorts of stuff going on, so, uh, you know, half an hour couple attempts separating us, you couldn't make this up. I hope it looked as good as it did on the stream as it felt with uh, with us racing, because it looked fantastic. I managed to do quite a few laps on the second race, watching Lil and Gamer Dad go at it as well. We were a lap sort of down from them, so we stayed behind, but it was just great to watch that GTR stretch its legs. Even Lil in the draft struggled to be passing. You know, at the start finish, that, that GTR was gone, so hats off to Gamer Dad and King of the Hills too. It's not the done car, you know, to run in ACC. There are a lot better cars, so, you know, credit to them. Again, now it just looks like Kurt has got them legs. I'm trying to flash, just trying to put him off, but, you know, it's uh, it's going to be difficult, especially coming up into the draft. We're in the same bit of kit, you know, so it's, it's the same, uh, same horsepower coming out. Even in the draft, it's going to be difficult, but race two, end of that, separated by two tenths. I just want to say a big congratulations to the winners of the other race too. It wasn't just, just me passing the line or whatnot. There were many other r winners in them races, and hopefully we've got a little bit of a shout out. We've got Chris Laguna winner there. Chica, the uh, race two winner in Spa there too. Congratulations, buddy. More than deserve that. You drove fantastically. And the one more too. Yeah, Ender Zandavar. I didn't get much footage, but uh, Chris won that too. Just a big thank you to the staff and all the drivers at FRL. You've been fantastic. Peace and love, guys.